7.30 on Wednesday, August 19th. I want to kick off the webcam here today with Loco because so many people have been watching it and I've been pointing it out so much. So I want to do a quick play-by-play -play of the five-minute chart and how it unfolded today. Saw the big oversold sell-off. Two days ago, I had Loco on the bounce watch list as it was forming some signs, but the past two days there was a big dump. So the oversold conditions, the RSI down here was at five, which is incredibly low. So this right here, I started watching for the bounce, saw the bounce right here get up to a high of 13.39, and then it pulled back and tested the double bottom 13.22 support. So after that double bottom test, we came up and broke that 13.39 high, and that was the signal to get in on the bull side, in my opinion, with the increased volume. We then hit the 20 period moving average resistance, knocked back, set a higher low. The low here is 13.31. And then we're able to turn the 20 period moving average resistance into support. We now have, <laughs> nice in the chat room, we now have a high here of 1349 and we saw a bid at, big ask at 1349 so that's current resistance. If we see this 20 period moving average resist support curling up start to drive the price up as well, a break of 1349 is going to be very bullish. Uh, so far this trade's looking good, we still have lower highs and higher lows so we're consolidating in that range the rubber band effect is about to play out in the near future volume is decreasing keep your eye on the volume so that's what we got for loco still looking good I'll check in with some other plays let's look at the overall markets of spy just an absolute downtrend all day the signal that the bears were in town at live pre-market analysis I pointed out we were going to open below the support band at 209.24 to 209.50 and that is now a resistance band and we didn't even come close to testing it as resistance it has just been bigger low after bigger low and we are looking like let me pull up the daily chart for SPY so now it's looking like SPY is going to test the 200 day moving average support on the daily chart at 206.46 so keep your eye on that level. Let's look at some of the common names here. Tesla. Tesla set a new low. So definitely a downtrend. You can see the high of the day was right at the beginning. 260.65. Then a lower high was put in and now a lower low. The break of this 200 period moving average support was a key that the bears were in town. So keep your eye. Definitely expecting Tesla to pull back a little bit here after such a strong bounce and hitting 50-day moving average resistance and pulling back from that level. Apple's been in a nice downtrend all day if you are a bear. Definitely oversold at this point and could potentially bounce for a, a short flip, very short-term bounce. But Apple 114 flat is the support level we're looking at from here. VDSI fell off a cliff and had a very nice recovery, a 67 cents recovery. So we're going to be watching. If it closes above 1838, that's going to be a very bullish indication that, number one, it can continue to hold that support and that the bulls would buy after such a big dip and hold that support level. RYAM for ER. I was just looking at it before I went live. I'm not liking this big volume here on this candle. The low is 622. It did get down to 624. Definitely worth watching, but this big volume on a red candlestick was not a great sign. So we'll have to keep watching. Looking like similar to Loco in the sense that it's forming a double bottom there if it's able to hold. So watch that low of the day and see if it can hold. Here's Baba. Baba, that's a nice reversal candlestick right there. We'll see if the bulls can turn it into anything. Need to break a higher high. We had a high first thing in the morning of 73.56 and then a high of 73.55 so that is a double top right there and then a, a lower low was set so definitely resistance on the day for BABA is 73.56. Twitter has been the beauty I keep pointing out. Alerted yesterday at 28.44 has seen a dollar drop off and still in that downtrend. Loco, nice job breaking that 1346 resistance right there. We're going to see 1348 and 49 with big asks, and we will see if the bulls can power through it. T 
T-Buzz, do you mean my analysis of Apple or a, an entry into a trade? Because I can go over it quickly again. Watching Loco here, chipping away at the ask. 3D Systems is going to be on Bowed Swatch. Um, just absolutely killed. 3D, 3D bubble popped, and it was very interesting to watch that bubble pop because I'm young enough to not have seen many bubbles, and 3D printing was just an absolute bubble. Just like the couple year chart of DDD. Also, VJet is another one. I played the IPO of VJet, and it was free, easy money because it was during the hype of 3D printing and it has since fallen off a cliff as well. So Facebook, very strong day and then fell apart. That's very interesting. Able to maintain the low of the day, so that's still support at 94.41. We had a low here of 94.43, so just above that. That's a very, very key level to watch going forward. I expect Facebook to bounce and hit this 100 period moving average resistance and probably get rejected, but that remains to be seen. That level is 94.92 resistance. Well, ER, you should be getting ready for a shopping spree then if you're trying to go long 3D printing. Not saying it's a good or bad decision, just saying things are really cheap. Feel free to shout out any tickers I will take a look at. Otherwise, we're just going to keep our eye on Loco. Right now, SUNY is support at 1350. We're doing all the psychological levels. It appears to be 1550 was resistance, 1450 was support yesterday, 14 flat was support that failed, and now 1350 is support. So it's looking like we're doing 50 cent jumps here. Pretty lucrative trading stock with all these swings. Let's see what Ugez is doing, hiding behind my chart. Oh man, UWTI is at 95 cents, down another 11%. That is one oversold stock. Oil is getting absolutely killed. Ugez is still floating pretty insignificantly. Man, penny stock for UWTI. Amazon for Barb. See a double top here, high of 5.33, and a high of 5.32.98, so within two cents, definitely a double top there, and currently a double bottom. So this is a very, very defined range. This is when drawing on your chart comes in handy. Throw a resistance line there. and throw a support line right there and that's that's the channel right there and when it breaks to one side or the other you will know the short term direction of the stock UWTI is uh, an ETF it's actually an ETN excuse me three times for crude oil so that means when oil makes a one percent move UWTI sees a three percent move it's uh... it's meant for trading because there is time decay with ETNs if you hold them long I would never suggest holding it long. But yeah, just look at the uh, one year chart for UWTI and see what oil's done. USO is another way to track oil, another ticker. So we're still watching Loco here. Still trading in its range. Need to see a break of 1349. We can just call it 1350 because that's the psychological level. And we'll see how it plays out. We have the 20 period moving average support curling up here at 1339, so we'll see if that can drive the stock up through the resistance level. You'd say that, you'd think a, a low trading stock must be near support, but so many times it can just get, oh, is that a new low? Yeah, I'm staying away from Ryan. Way too much selling pressure. 
you know, who knows what the reason for it going down is. You'd have to scan through the financials to see if maybe they issued $1 million worth of stock discounted at 55% um, previous 10 days low trading average. That's how they do convertible debt. And then that debt becomes free trading and those shares slam into the market. Because if you get shares, if you're lending someone money and you get shares for 60% of market value, you can sell and drive the stock down 40% and you're making money the whole way. You just want to get rid of your shares and say, give me money. And that's what happens when they do that. Snowfall, Apple, we're just looking at uh, 114 even support on the daily chart. On the five minute chart, we were oversold here as we saw. We're seeing a little bounce. Hasn't even tested the 20 period moving average resistance, which shows just how weak this stock is right now, Apple. Bears couldn't even, or bulls couldn't even muster up a test of that. Could see it right now unfold, but definitely being driven down all day. It's pretty rare to see Apple not even test the 20 period moving average resistance. Here's Loco seeing a little bit of resistance again. We had a low here now of 1338. So that's going to be a level to watch. Tightening range and decreasing volume. That's a lesson for IPOs. RYAM, it was a $36 stock either a year or two ago. I forget what time frame I looked at on the chart, and now it's a $6 stock. So all the underwriters and all the banks sold all their shares that they got for whatever, 30 something dollars and just made a killing while Main Street, people like you and me, bought into the stock trying to go long and just lost our hats. Not me specifically, but you know what I mean. Nice support hold right there for Loco. It was looking a little bleak. Widespread. Lots of volume on the daily chart comparatively, but that is because we had the 6% drop. So you definitely want to decipher when you're looking at any kind of chart whether the spike in volume is bearish or bullish volume. And you can do that by looking at the candlestick shape. Like a high volume doji that has a long leg shows buying by the bulls even if the candlestick is red. Compared to the previous candlestick, that long leg can signal buying on the bulls side. SUNY keeps going down 1343 now. We're definitely going to see a $13 test uh, tomorrow or today if it really gets oversold, but that would be pushing it. CLF getting rejected two cents less than the 50 day moving average resistance I pointed out on the daily chart. That was a nice 23 cent drop. Twitter, a new low of day. I'm going to be singing that one from the mountains. Twitter 52 week lows 2687 is definitely going to come and test that area at least 27 flat. Ike just asked a question. I hope you don't mind me using it on the live webcam just so others can learn too and I can't type and talk at the same time. But decreasing volume and range indicates possible reversal. Yes, it does. Um, it, it's what I call the rubber band effect that I keep pointing, at, pointing out. Decreasing volume in range with lower highs and higher lows. You eventually see a break of that pattern and usually a quick move in one direction or the other, whichever way it breaks. As traders like us jump on that opportunity. So right now we have a rubber band effect with Loco. Decreasing volume. The high here was 1354. High here was 1349 and high here was 1348. So 
if we see a break of 13.49, it's going to be a break to the upside. The low, the lows here, we have a low of 13.22, a low of 13.31, and a low of 13.38. So if we see a break of 13.38 to the downside, that will be a break in the lower, higher lows uptrend. Looking at INVN on the daily. Oversold stock, definitely looking for a bounce there, but going to have to wait for the candlesticks that indicate a bounce is coming. And right now there aren't any. Almost saw it on the August 13th, but did not see the confirmation candlestick. So look, it was a really tight range. I would have liked a quicker bounce than this, but it is still playing out perfectly fine. Pretty unknown territory. That's why I suggested perhaps people moving up their stop loss so they can get out near or just below break even if it does not go our way. We have the 20 period moving average support now at... 1339 here's GoPro that's a nice example of breaking the trend you have the downside you have the bounce so here's your low 5537 here's your high 5634 then you saw another low at 5550 Tried to get back up, couldn't do it, broke 55.50, and once it broke this low of 55.37, that was the bearish signal. And then just been a steady downtrend since then. I'm going to stay live another three minutes here. Maybe we'll see some GoPro action by, or some loco action by then. Still looking fine, trying to find its range. Standoff between the bulls and the bears for sure. Not sure who would be wanting to take a short position after 5% down day and a red, big red day yesterday as well, but you never know. You any you dropped all the way to 1327. Wow, maybe it is worth a bounce today. RSI is at 20, oversold. I pull up the daily chart here. Maybe we can find some support that I overlooked, but I doubt it. Thirteen twenty two was the low on SUNY of August eleventh. That would be a nice bounce. Seeing a bullish reversal candlestick here on increased volume, a nice hammer for SUNY. But again, that would be catching a falling knife, in my opinion, as we're looking for more definitive support that we aren't seeing yet. Good point, copywriter. What time does the Fed Minutes come out? Is that 2 p.m. Eastern? You guys is... 
Um, not be not a big mover at all. I'm watching the hourly natural gas chart, and it still looks fine. Still setting higher lows and two higher highs. So that's one that you want to just put a stop loss at. I think I suggested 179 maybe this morning. I just posted a link to the natural gas chart that I'm watching. But yeah, you guys definitely not a fast bounce at the moment. Okay, so Loco's going a little bearish here. Let's see. I'm going to zoom in. Twenty period moving average support is thirteen forty, which it is currently below. The low was thirteen thirty eight right now, which is still holding this previous low of thirteen thirty eight. But I am watching the thirteen thirty one mark. If it breaks below that, then it will be a break in the trend. All right, I'm going to sign off now, and we'll continue coverage in chat. Keep your eye on local 1330.